Hey everybody, welcome back. We got a new video here for you today. This is a uh, I did upload a video already of my pull list, but this is a uh, some you know keys I've gotten over the last that have come in over the last week or two. Uh, eBay stuff. I got a uh, had a little Kijiji deal with a dude, um, cool dude. So yeah, um, what I've been doing is there's like four major books that I, five, me well, four the obtainable books, one that I won't get for a while, but I got, you know, four major books that I need to get. So I've been selling stuff on eBay, trying to earn money. Um, done pretty good, but what happens is, and I'm notorious for this, you know, I sell something and then I just start shopping already. I'm already looking for keys on my list and so you know the four books that I really want I need a Incredible Hulk 271 first rocket raccoon uh, love the movie god I love the movie it was so so good excellent excellent movie um, so yeah I'm really I mean I've been liking rocket in the comics and I just think it's I just think he is going to be a character that is going to be beloved for a while so uh, I'm really not even like from a speculative point of view, but it's just uh, I really dig that guy. I really dig him, man. He's fucking hilarious, and I really want his first appearance. So that's one one I want. I need uh, Teen Titans number two. You know, first appearance of Deathstroke. That's probably at the bottom of my list, but I still want it. Um, I need a Batman 251 in like fine plus condition. Um, yeah, uh, really, really. You know, everybody wants that book. I really want that book, and finally, I want to. I need an Amazing Spider-Man 121, Death of Gwen Stacy. That's like the book, and then there's Iron Man 55 for Thanos. But you know, um, it'll be a while before I can get something like that. And even the the Amazing Spider-Man 121. So you know, I've been selling books, planning to get, you know, at least uh, two of those keys that I want, and. Uh, of course, what I do is <laughs> I've got a little bit of money, so I start shopping. And, you know, I'm really happy with these books that I got. But, you know, that's like uh, 100 bucks I could have put towards an Incredible Hulk 271, or I could have bought uh, First Appearance of Deathstroke outright for that money, most likely. So, you know, that's just, you know, I'm happy with the books. That's just, it's, I'm sure a lot of people do that same thing. You know, you get a little bit of money here, a little bit of money there. Because I've been, I've, you know, I've got some pricey books up on eBay, and I've sold uh, half of them. And, you know, next is, I think I'm just going to go to the shop tomorrow. I um, was talking to this pawn shop guy. If you saw my other video, I'm probably just going to sell my first appearance of Gamora no right for 100 bucks. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to do that. Anyway, so let's just get to the books. Uh, here we got the Web of Spider-Man number 118, uh, first appearance of the Scarlet Spider. In You know, it's not the first appearance of the guy who you know, Kane, I forget his last name, but or Kane Parker, maybe, I don't know what the fuck his name is, but this is the first time he's in the Scarlet Spider uniform. I have a hard time calling it a uniform because he's wearing a fucking tank top, and he usually wears, like, a hoodie or something like that. Um, that's, I just don't, <laughs> I don't like, like, civilian clothes, clothes in my uniforms. I don't like baseball hats in my superhero uniforms. But, you know, he's a character. I've, I've wanted this for quite a while now. This is probably about a... I would give this probably about a 9. It's in real, It's in nice shape. Uh, and then here we got X-Factor number 24. First appearance of Archangel. Um, I, I had this issue. I had a really, really... I had like a 9.6, 9.8 condition-wise. Like, gorgeous copy. Um, then I sold it. Because I didn't really give a shit about Archangel at the time. And now that I'm all into Apocalypse... I had to get this again. Um, it's not quite as nice as the copy that I did have, but it's very, very nice. It's I would definitely give it a 9.4. There's no like, no problems with it. Um, you know, the corner, it might not, it's not crisp, but it's hard to tell because, you know, these books, they don't always line up perfectly. Like that top corner is really nice. Um, no spine, no spine stress, no color breaks, nothing like that. Uh, my other one that I had, like I said, it was like in perfect condition, but it was cut weird. It was cut right here, so this the cut started, you know, even the top of the marvel was cut right off. Um, it wasn't trimmed, but it looked like, because, you know, this was extended at the bottom because it was just misaligned. 
Um, so I sold it, and you know, I paid less for this than the one that I sold. So you know, I'm still, I'm I'm still ahead, but I I really needed the issue, and I'm glad to have it. Uh, here we got what if Wolver what if number thirty one is what if Wolverine had killed the Hulk. Uh, pretty uh, awesome cover, pretty sweet book. Nothing, you know. There's a few what if books that are on people's radar. I think this is kind of one, but like this, you know, sometimes you can get. It's weird. Like if you look at eBay, like some days this will go for like eight bucks. Some days it'll go for like twenty five, maybe even thirty. Sometimes, um, it's weird. It's really weird, but uh, you know, really happy to have it. It's a nice, nice shape, you know, not not mint or nothing, but corners are good, and there's like one spine, one spine take maybe, or one color break on the spine. No, there's a couple little color breaks. It's a nice shape though. I'm happy with it. Yeah, what if Wolverine had killed the Hulk? If you can find it cheap, definitely pick it up. Uh, here we got JSA Classified number one. Uh, it's Adam Hughes cover. Um, yeah, I just picked it up. It was great. Nice cover. People like the Adam Hughes stuff. Uh, it's the Adam Hughes Wonder Woman that's pretty uh, sought after at the moment. But, uh, you know, this could take off too. I didn't buy it for any speculative purposes. I just like the, uh, like the cover a lot. Moving on. Sexy cover. Like, I don't really... These, these gotta be painted, right? They must be painted. Anyway, here we got, uh... Amazing Spider-Man number 430. Yeah, I I did jump on. I don't even I don't even want to call it a bandwagon, but because uh, I still think I still feel like it's a little bit unknown. I don't think everybody's. It's not on everyone's radar. You know, Amazing Spider-Man 430, 431. This is the uh, Carnage, Silver Surfer thing. <laughs> I haven't read it. Um, you know, Carnage gets the Silver Surfer surfboard. Uh, they're both in really nice shape. Um, you know, very happy to have them. Uh, here, let you look at both of them. So yeah, definitely. If you if you watch these videos, um, everyone who's got these will tell you to keep an eye out for them. They do go for quite a bit on eBay. Uh, try your best to find them in the wild or. You know, work out a Craigslist deal somehow or something like that, because I don't see them. I don't know. Who knows if they will go up or anything like that? But uh, my Spider-Man is lacking, and if I had to pick my favorite character over all the years, like now it's probably kind of Batman, but I think it might be Spider-Man. Man, Spider-Man is what got me into comics. I loved Spider-Man. I still love Spider-Man. He's the most amazing character, and my Spider-Man collection is hurting i don't got nothing um as a kid i you know i had spider-man 300 and 301 and 298 299 i had all that stuff i you know sold it long long time ago long long time ago you know i picked that up for cover price i bought that off the rack for spider-man 300 so i really don't have a lot of spider and the only spider-man i do have is really more modern ones like i think the oldest i've got is uh like the first carnage so yeah my spider-man is lacking uh, and this is just a what if number 108 what if the uh starring the avengers you know this is just kind of the extra part to this uh spider-man carnage story um what's his name Merkin told me to pick this up so i did <laughs> he didn't tell me personally but he told me in my video so yeah that and here we got Batman uh, 321. Um, I forget the name of the artist of this cover, but oh, I hate myself for not remembering the artist. This is, you know, Joker's birthday issue. I just picked it up because it's a sweet cover. Um, Joker covers from this era are pretty, uh, pretty hot right now. And it was a very reasonable price, so picked it up. And then I got a, got another copy of All Star Comics Presents uh, number fifty eight first appearance of Power Girl. It's a nice shape. Did not pay very much for it. Um, I was, hold on, I'm gonna show one other book. Oh, uh, that's the last, and this is the last one. Um, I showed this in my other video, but I'm so excited to have it. Uh, Avengers two fifty seven first appearance of Nebula. 
Um, I didn't give a shit about this book before the movie. I did not care about it at all before the movie. But uh, I loved... <laughs> I loved the movie, I lo and I loved, especially loved Nebula in the movie. I thought she was so, so good. She was so fucking badass. Her voice was amazing. Uh, her character design, makeup, whatever you want to call it, just looked spectacular. Um, I feel like Gep, or what's her fucking name now? Ne I feel like Nebula, um, her, her character... You know, she could have been Gamora, easily. Like, just the way that she acted, you know, aside from a tiny... I mean, she's a little bit over the edge, just a bit, but... For Gamora, for Gamora, but Gamora was too... Too toned down for me. But other than... And, but she was still pretty good. I mean, that movie was so good, and... I just had to... After seeing that movie, and... I mean, I've always liked Karen uh, Gillan, because I like I liked Doctor Who. I loved her on Doctor Who. But, man, she was just so, so good. So great, and really made me because i mean i don't even like remember nebula in infinity gauntlet uh <laughs> i just thought she was really dumb but uh now i think she's fucking badass so yeah i had to pick this up oh yeah and i so i showing this again kind of because uh spidey fan 78 i believe his name is if you're watching this he told me i told him i was looking for this book and i was gonna pick it up today commented on his video and he said you know you, you should be able to find it but don't pay more than 10 or 12 bucks He's right, that's ideally what I would like to pay, 10 or 12 bucks, 15, I had to pay 20 for it. Um, yeah, and I did, but it's it's a flawless copy, and really happy with it. Um, yeah, I had to, like, I like I can't, I could not even find a nicer copy on eBay, and even if I did, like, there was one copy I was looking at, it was 20 bucks, but it was 10 bucks shipping. So, you know, I'm not paying 30 bucks for it. Um, I mean... Maybe under certain circumstances I would have, but I'm really, you know, for 20 bucks, I'm, I'm satisfied with it. And I just wanted to, you know, I wish I could have got it for that price, Spidey fan, but uh, I couldn't, so I picked up this. And so, yeah, that's it. That's what I got. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, take care.